Our lives today are a piece of a much larger and complex puzzle that serves as the evidence of an unending tradition of birth and death that stretches back to the beginning of life on this planet. By understanding our origins, we became one step closer into better understanding the puzzle we find ourselves slowly weaving together from the facts of history. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be going over five archaeological discoveries and how they changed the world. Various Mysteries of the Long Yu Caves The Long Yu Caves lie near the village of Xi'an Beikung, China. These caves are massive. They are very ancient and extensive underground structures. The Long Yu Caves grottos are thought to date back as far as 2,000 years. They are one of the largest underground excavations in the world and they are covered in various mysteries that cannot be explained. They were first discovered by a local villager back in 1992. By now, we have found 36 caves and each one of the caves contains rooms, bridges, pools and gutters. There are pillars that were made to support the ceiling, walls and stone columns that are covered in chisel marks and series of various parallel lines. 35 caves remain closed to the public, but one of them is even opened for tourism. How were these caves constructed? No one really knows. There were no tools found in the area. Scientists are stunned by the perfect symmetry and precision of the caves. And even now, we could probably not even build something like this ourselves. On a question who built them and what was their purpose, we can all remain silent once again, because no one actually knows this either. Some theories claim that the entire cave complex was actually used for extracting and mining mineral resources. Some claim these were made to be tombs of the old emperors. One theory suggests the caves were places made for troops. They were stationed there when the emperor wanted to keep his soldiers out of view. Sadly, many theories have been abandoned because the caves should have taken years to actually build, and there is no construction evidence found related to any of the complex parts. Most of the caves are nearly identical, and they all follow the same building pattern. Which theory is the right one? And who really built these massive caves? The Sunken Land of the Lioness The old legends of King Arthur are widely seen by historians as nothing more than common folklore, whereas others argue the viability and historical significance of the reign of such a British leader centuries in the past. Despite this debate on whether or not a king of the same name ruled during the 5th and early 6th century, defending against Saxon invaders ever actually existed in the first place, there appears to be overwhelming proof that the discussed locations in old literary works surrounding the legends were based off of actual cities and real-world locations. This has led many different archaeological teams and hopeful enthusiasts on a wild goose chase in order to recover the many different artefacts and abandoned cities mentioned in the legends in the hopes of not just proving the historical significance of the story, but to uncover rich treasures otherwise completely forgotten. Though many cities have already been discovered, there is still one massively elusive find still waiting to be rediscovered. This highly sought-after rediscovery is referred to as the Lost Land of Lioness. It was believed to contain over 140 different small villages and most likely reside somewhere on the coast of the European countries. Unfortunately, historical accounts surrounding the land speculated that something similar to that of a large tsunami came in and destroyed the collection of different villages before it sunk the majority of the land into the ocean so that nothing could ever be recovered. Given the fact that there are so many different discoveries of ancient cities found off the coast of islands such as Japan and Cuba, it could very well be a possibility that these areas were once a part of larger coasts that sank after an earthquake or tsunami hit the area. Discovering this lost land of the lioness could help not only prove the validity of the Arthurian legends, but also help to shed some light on the developments of early 4th and 5th century empires throughout Europe at the time. The Mysterious Gateway of the Sun Located in modern-day Bolivia, 
very close to the Lake Titicaca. The Gateway of the Sun was first discovered in 19th century by European explorers. This is a massive, very ancient stone arch that has been around for at least 1500 years. This ancient stone has been a true mystery for ages and we still have no idea what was the actual purpose of this structure. The Andean legend claims that the Titicaca Lake was the home of the first humans on our planet. The Tiwanaku culture believes that Lord Virachocha was actually the one who was chosen Tiahuanico. Many historians believe that Lord Virachocha was the central figure of the massive ancient stone. It is very interesting that the Gateway of the Sun was made out of a single massive rock called andesite. The entire structure is approximately 3 meters tall and nearly 4 meters wide. We do not know what was the purpose of this structure, but it sure looks like it was a very important thing to the ancient Tuanaku people. There are various theories related to this massive stone, but there are no proofs that can back up any of their theories. Some of the theories claim that the Gateway of Sun can allow people to cross over to a completely different dimension. Whether or not this is true, we do not know, but it will surely continue to fascinate us for a long time. Strangely old nanostructures in the Ural Mountains, Russia. Russia is a massive country, and lately there have been many new discoveries related to it. One of them is this extremely interesting story coming from the Ural Mountains in Russia. The nanostructures that have been found here have been a very popular topic all around the world. The structures are believed to be a product of an extremely old ancient civilization, a civilization that might have been capable of creating and developing nanotechnology. The whole discovery happened during a geological research in the purposes of gold extraction in the Ural Mountains. Along with the gold, the researchers found something even more valuable, spirals, coils and shafts, together with a list of other unidentified components. Several tests have been made by the Russian Academy and the results were extremely interesting. It has been found that the largest pieces were almost entirely made out of copper, while the smaller ones were made from molybdenum and tungsten. According to all of the information we have right now, the nanostructures were found at a depth between 15 and 40 feet. The various researches that have been made show that the structures actually date back to 300,000 years. There are no answers to who made these nanostructures and what was their real purpose. Our planet's southernmost continent is the most uninhabited land on the face of the Earth. It is not without trying and efforts made by researchers and explorers that this land seems to be shrouded in mystery, more rather due to the area being located directly top of the South Pole and, because of this fact, appears to be amongst the most inhospitable places in the world to visit. However, new and upcoming evidence appears to have challenged this notion of inhabitation, as relics of an ancient civilization appears to have surfaced only recently. So, today, we will be uncovering these lost ancient relics and the history of the Antarctic. Both an unending tundra and an everlasting desert, Antarctica is noted as being the very last region of Earth in recorded history to be discovered. Antarctica was regarded as a land unseen until that of 1820, when the famed Russian expedition of Fabian and Mikhail first wrote about the sighting of the Fimble ice shelf and other evidence of a large continent located at the southernmost region of the world. Despite this discovery, however, the continent remained largely ignored and neglected for the entire 19th century, supposedly due to the land's hostile environment, lack of easily accessible resources, and terrible isolation. It really was not until the end of the 1800s that people began to even realize that the land existed in the first place and began including it on maps and globes around the world. Oddly enough, though it was only recently discovered, myths of this land had been circulating amongst underground communities for quite a few centuries, but was often disregarded by supposed experts as nothing more than a fantasy or legend. In fact, many theorists believed that there was a continent in the region and had even went so far as naming the theoretical land Terra Australis, which roughly translated to the Southern Land, an idea that dates back to antiquity 
and is lost to time. No one knows where the myths of the southern land started, who knew of it and how far back into human history it stretches, but it was definitely regarded as being information only shared amongst tight-knit communities, secret societies and underground groups. The strangeness of the myths of Antarctica do not stop there, as the first sightings of ancient buildings in the region were first made by the ancient astronaut community that was attempting to prove an interesting idea. Around the world, we find evidence of pyramid structures that have often challenged our modern notion of the age of humanity and the technological and developmental might of our early civilizations. Given that these great structures are often found in areas that predate archaeological beliefs of early human civilizations, then discovering the location of these pyramids that humans have never been could prove to be the smoking gun evidence of possible extraterrestrial intervention. The ancient alien community then pointed at Antarctica and said that given its only recent discovery and completely uninhabitable terrain, to find such a structure amongst its icy lands would be more than enough evidence to prove such a theory. Using complex gathered research data and satellite imaging, the community worked day and night in the hopes of uncovering any evidence of these structures. Fortunately, they did. Approximately larger than the pyramids at Giza, the ancient astronaut community began noticing strange mountains that did not seem to match with the overall landscape of the region. Not only did these supposed large mountains not exist anywhere close to a mountain range, but in the region in which it inhabited did not appear to even have the stresses or strains of the tectonic plates that could cause a potential mountain range in the first place. Not only this, but the size of the mountain in that area ended up displaying the proportions of a perfect pyramid, with four even sides, a symmetrical peak and the same degree in slope gradient compared to the large pyramids at Giza. Images of these structures in high definition can also be found thanks to efforts made by researchers to locate the peaks of the mountains in the attempts to disprove these satellite images, but only worked to prove their existence and showcase their symmetrical and artificial design in clearer imaging. Could it be then that perhaps a much more powerful advanced civilization with the means of producing such megalithic structures could have inhabited the region long before humans could have ever even discovered its existence in the first place. An interesting fact to take into consideration is the history of the region. What many people do not know is that Antarctica was once a lush and dense forest, with a population to match long before it became the wasteland it is most notably known as today. Evidence of this can be found when looking at a team of archaeologists and researchers that led an expedition in Antarctica in November of 2016 that lasted for several months, ending on January of 2017. The team found shocking evidence of lush forests in the region after locating and identifying a large amount of fossil fragments from ancient trees that dated as far back as more than 260 million years. Interestingly enough, this timeline correlates with one very important event in the past, the Permian period, also known as the greatest mass extinction event in the history of the world. It is interesting then to consider this idea that roughly 260 million years ago, the continent of Antarctica would have been a densely populated lush green forest with a tremendous variation in wildlife and ecosystems. A professor at the University of Wisconsin, known as Dr. Gulbranston, argues that the continent as a whole was much warmer and even more humid than many areas today. In fact, he has overwhelming evidence that the area would have been closer in resemblance to the boreal forest of present-day Siberia, a place today with a thriving population, vast resources and a stable economy. Now, of course, you might be thinking that if Antarctica has not been a thriving land for such a long time, then how could it be that there has been any activity of human life and construction on this continent? There really could not have been any way that humans could have built any types of megalithic structures on the continent in the time that humans even came into existence. But that is entirely the point that is being made. If any relics are found, then it is without a doubt evidence of a past advanced civilization that is not human, as there is no way human beings could be responsible for its creation. But to construct such structures, these advanced races would have been able to also create large biodomes or cityscapes for their own people. Oddly enough, 
We have evidence for this discovery as well. A post of unknown origin began circling across many deep websites and underground conspiracy theorist blogs that talked about satellite evidence of supposed crashed spaceships or possible alien megacities located in the Antarctic. The coordinates for these structures will be provided in the description below, and these strange artificial shapes can be seen by anyone who uses Google Earth and punches in said coordinates. Taking a look at these strange structures, it is fairly obvious to see that they hold many characteristics with sightings of commonly reported unidentified flying objects. They appear to be an extremely long cigar-shaped object. Not only that, but the build-up of the snow due to the wind direction helps to show that each of these strange objects that total 22 structures appear to be all facing in the same direction, designed with the exact same size and are taller than any other natural forming peaks in the region that is mostly flat due to a lack of tectonic pressure. All of these pieces of information point to an artificial creation and not naturally forming structures or mountain ranges. Could it be that these structures are overwhelming evidence for the ancient alien community and proof of these possible ancient megalithic structures that we see with satellite imaging? Most likely. The reason for this is a little more frustrating than past evidence and theory would tell you. Many people amongst these communities believe that possibly the government is well aware of these hidden structures and possible alien artefacts and that they are attempting to hide these findings from the rest of the world by ignoring the area altogether or not approving of further expeditions and archaeological expertise. That might be the case, but it is much more realistic that the main cause for these refusals are more accurately due to political and economic reasons and not that of a massive cover-up. You see, Antarctica, as far as the governments of the world care, really does not exist. The first real attempts at construction on the continent was made by research scientists who were privately funded or had some sort of means to make their way to the icy continent. These research scientists came from all around the world and were only interested in one thing, science and discovery. Due to this passion, the original research development teams came together and formed the Antarctic Treaty, a required pact that made it impossible for anyone to make claims of territory and enforces open knowledge for everyone. It is due to this treaty that governments from around the world refuse to even participate into any developments onto the icy continent in fear that their equipment, technology and infrastructure would just be stolen, reverse engineered or completely destroyed by other governments upholding the treaty. So until an independent third party with private funding puts in the initiative to investigate these strange sites and satellite images, there will be no further discoveries or breakthroughs made. But what do you think of these strange sightings and discoveries made in the most unexplored land of the world? Be sure to let us know by leaving your questions and answers in the comment section below and help us to grow this community and work to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.